What's up, YouTube? Trey here from Topic Tech, and today we're doing a quick unboxing. Nothing too special, but my speakers went out on my computer, so I needed to replace them. Um, I've got these old ones that I got like years ago when I bought a pre built Dell computer. Um, so those are my backups, but I really wanted something with better sound so I could have for referencing. Nothing, nothing too fancy. So we picked up the Logitech Z623 speakers. And I wanted something with a subwoofer, a separate subwoofer, and then two, a left and a right. Nothing crazy like a 5.1 surround sound, just a 2.1, just to put on my desk. Um, so yeah, decided to pick these up. We're gonna open them up, take a look at them together. So let's go, let's jump on in. Holy cow. This box is huge. So let's see if we can get it all in frame. I picked these up for a hundred bucks. Um, there's a link down in the description if you want to check it out. <clears throat> a couple of places that you can get them from, but I got mine from Best Buy. You can pick them up from Amazon as well too. Should be a similar price. Got our unboxing knife. Holy cow, that's dangerous. But let me see if I can. Uh, read off some specs for you one of the biggest one of the first things that kind of caught my eye is that this has THX which I don't really know what that means but I know that's fancy sound <laughs> so hopefully it'll 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 be awesome but it's for also 400 watts one of the biggest computer sound systems I've seen wattage wise um, it's got a what, number rated number one sticker on here I, I guess that's uh, best selling speaker brand. I, I would agree. So my last one, my last Logitech, probably last me seven, maybe ten years. A long time. Uh, and it was a two point one surround, uh, two point one sound system as well too. Just similar to this. Uh, these satellite speakers are much bigger. Oh god, cut this side too. Oh, this is already cut. Let me get this open. Come on. Oh boy. The satellite speakers are much bigger for this set, and the subwoofer looks much bigger as well, too. So it's going to be a pretty hefty upgrade. Uh, but I don't have to worry about neighbors anymore, so we can go with bigger sound. Better sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow, that's pretty cool. So as soon as you open it up, I don't know which camera to show show this one see if you can see it. you can't see it I'll take a picture and pop it up on screen now <laughs> it basically gives you a, a diagram of how to connect your speakers how it connects to your headphones how it connects to your computer um, so pretty cool right off the bat oh, let's put these on the ground because I'm not gonna pull I'm gonna pull this out Yeah, Logitech has been one of my favorite brands in general. I have a, the Logitech G910. Uh, I've used Logitech webcams forever. This is the C920. I recommend it as a streamer if you're looking for a good webcam. Here is, so it gives you an auxiliary cable. Doesn't look like a very long auxiliary cable. Oh, that's put a lot of dirt on my desk. But it gives you a pretty decent, yeah, it's about four feet, but auxiliary to auxiliary. You could probably get a better auxiliary cable if you're looking for even better quality, but this is your, these are just desktop speakers, so, yeah. This is a much bigger subwoofer than what I'm used to. Holy cow, like, the subwoofer alone, I feel like, is what the hundred dollars is worth. Holy cow, look how big that is. Some home theater systems don't have as big of a subwoofer. It says Logitech on the inside. It's pretty snazzy. But yeah, it's nice wood. Feels, well, maybe plywood. Yeah, plywood. Uh, but as a left and right on the back 
was an auxiliary port and this is the um I'm not sure what that goes to. It says right speaker, left speaker. Oh, I guess that's how it connects. Huh, interesting. We're gonna go ahead and throw this down where it's gonna go. Let me grab the satellites out here. Man, these are massive compared to the last ones I had. Compared to the one, the last ones I had are about the same size as this. These are huge. Whoa. Has that THX logo on the front of it. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, these are gonna be freaking loud. It has bass control as well too. So bass control, volume control, and then the power button. Um, those look like, no, those are not auxiliary ports. Those looked like auxiliary ports, which have been very weird. Um, but yeah, that's freaking massive. I don't have anything to really compare it to. Here's my, here's my iPhone. Holy cow. <laughs> freaking huge. So these are gonna be, <laughs> And then here's up next to the current ones I have. It it's a dwarf speaker. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what? Yeah, these are these are much bigger. Much bigger. Huh, and that's very interesting. So the they connect separately. Makes wire management a whole lot better. But one has a it looks like an RCA plug. And one has this thick I don't know what this is called. You can tell this is where the brains, the, the processor unit for the sound, the THX quality. This is where they're going. It's got like a, this is a special proprietary cable. It looks like a VGA cable, but this is audio. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Let me see if I can show you over here. Yeah, it looks like just like a VGA cable but it's it's for a speaker i'm not sure what type of audio cable that is if anybody knows it or if it's just a proprietary cable by for this set um but that's how it connects one goes into the back of this well they both go to the back of the set. so yeah um oh here's auxiliary ports yeah 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 here we go so on the main unit you have a headphone jack and auxiliary so the auxiliary would be for like connecting your phone unfortunately not your new iphone because iphones don't have Auxiliary ports, unless you use the the dongle and whatever, but uh, you can you can auxiliary in and then play music through the speakers through the auxiliary port, and then headphone jack out. Um, so if I wanted to plug my headphones in and not have sound come through the speakers, I can have them come directly through my headphones. Uh, which we our setup, our audio setup is a little more complicated. We won't need to use that. We have the focus right. That's our media controller interface. Um, but yeah, let me connect these up real quick and we'll see how they sound. We'll test them with my crappy speakers here now. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear it very well because we're using the condenser mic, but we'll see. We'll turn it up all the way and see if we can tell a difference. Give me like five minutes or five seconds for you guys and I'll be right back.
first things first, let's test out the actual sound of our current speakers. So here's our current speakers, full blast, turned all the way up. Uh, I'm gonna have to change the audio. Here's these speakers, let's test them out. That's the current speakers. It sounds terrible in person. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, let's uh, that's got bass drop, so let's just for just for just let's. Yeah, we'll we'll continue. Hold on. Ooh. I can already feel a difference. Let's check it out. I've got the bases on on mid. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up. Um I have it halfway right now. Halfway. So let's see what it sounds like. Whoa. That bass. <laughs> that, I don't know if you can feel it. I can feel it. So yeah. The directional audio sounds really good. I'm not an audiophile by any means. But the directional audio sounds, I can left and right feel, feel like left and right. All right, let's go back, hold on. With bass, let's go back to the, the other. This is the original. Let's go back to our new stuff. Oh, yes. Night and day. Hopefully it comes through okay through the microphone. Uh, that's the best that I could do. Um, but man, yeah, totally different. I'm incredibly happy. And that's with the volume at halfway, bass at halfway. Not bad at all. Pretty happy with that. Well, that's it. That's it. I could absolutely recommend these if you're if you're looking for a good replacement headset. Oh man, yeah, those those sound really good. If you're looking for a good replacement a headset, um, speakers, computer speakers. Most of us use a lot of headphones a lot of times. But I like having to be able to walk around the house or even walk around the room and do things um, without having to wear headphones. So good computer speakers. These are where it's at. Links are in the description if you want to purchase one your own. It also supports me. I've used that link. Also bookmark our Amazon. Another thing you can do is if you want to check us out, we do live stream every single day at mixer.com forward slash topic tech where we talk about tech stuff like this. We also do video games sometimes. <laughs> we do Tech Tuesdays every Tuesday. You can join in and ask questions about streaming or technology or anything in general. Music's way too loud. Um, we're also giving away every day one of these. This is a B band from beyondbands.com. So this one, the one I'm wearing. On one side it says mixer.com. And on the other side, 
as our topic tech logo wield the power oh yeah you can buy them for five dollars free shipping worldwide but you can also come and watch your channel and win one thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll see you in the next one I think that went well. <laughs> Again, these are the Logitech. Again, these are the Logitech Z623 computer speakers. They sound amazing. I'll give you my full review after I've had them for a little while. But yeah. Yeah, sounds really good.